Hey everybody, what's up? I am recording, hopefully it's a little bit more um, quiet in here. Hopefully there's no background noise. Normally in the basement there's background noise and in my bedroom there's background noise. But this room is... <sighs> Anyways, let's, let's move on. Um, so, missing since November 6th of 2022. Um, he's from Richmond, Texas. Uh, his date of birth is December 14th of 2008. <clears throat> he is now eight, I'm sorry, 13 years old. I was going to say 18. I don't know why. Um, he is now 13 years old. He is male. Race is black. Um, eye color is brown. Hair color is brown. He weighs five foot five. I mean, oh my god, he is his height is five foot five and he weighs a hundred and five pounds. If you see him, please give nine one one a call or one eight hundred eight four three five six seven eight. That is one eight hundred the lost. Um. And these are both pictures of him. Let me see if I can pronounce his name because, yeah. Uh, Shaquan. Hopefully I pronounced that. I'm sorry if I did not pr pronounce that correctly. Shaquan Barnes. So here he is. He was last seen on November 6th. Um... Shaquan may be in need of medical attention. So just recently, um, Foodie had, well, her hubby had said that they had not done any activity. I'm not going to, I mean, you could see it over here. But um, so the thing is, is that with a marriage from what, I don't know if it is the same as it is in Kuwait, but in America, and I could see in the UK, um, the consummation of, is a big part of a marriage. Um, you need to consummate your marriage before it is actually a marriage, which no one can really prove that you've consummated, but because he's already stated that he has not consummated the marriage, um, he can really go ahead and void the marriage if he wants to at any time because there has been no, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, here's another thing. Um, now... My conspiracy theory is that if he wants to go ahead and annul this marriage, he can turn around and say, well, and here's on the bottom, it says, either the spouse had a sexual transmitted disease at the time of the marriage, um, and people had been speculating that she had gotten something from the married man. We don't know for sure. She has not mentioned it, but... That's speculation, and he can use it. He can actually turn around and say, I was afraid that she might have an STD because of her past. Um, so, who knows? He can also say that he was afraid that she might have gotten an STD from the men that she has dated. And you can go on to anybody's reaction channel and actually... Um, prove that she has had STDs in the past and she has um, she has been seeing a married man recently um, and what I mean re recently I mean in the past six months so hey who knows but he has said that he has not given her what she wants it's funny because she flew across the world 
Um, we know she uh, she cares about three things: herself, the D, and food. Um, she's getting her food. She cares about herself. She seems like she's unhappy, but whatever. Um, and I think she's unhappy because she's not getting that third thing. So, who knows? Um, so yeah. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Um, I'm just speculating. This is my theory and that's it. So, take it as you will. So, I was in Gary's live stream last night and Natter decided to show up at Gary's live stream. He said he is going to strike this video. I'm going to put the video in the description below. You can watch it. It's a very long video because Natter's um, lives are very long. So, but I would suggest you watch it because it's a fun one. Like, I think Gary's um, videos are fun. So here you go. And I did say some really nasty things, but I didn't. Here's the thing. I did not see anything Natter said. So we just, we had to see it through, um, like his, well, I had to see it through like his screen and then some people screenshotted it. I think I'm blocked. I'm not too sure, but I mean, the thing is, is that I'm not, I'm not that big of a YouTuber. I'm not that important. And I don't know why I couldn't see it. I'm just speculating that I was, I'm blocked. So he said, so Gary said that you can't do it, blah, blah, blah. And he explained, I'm not going to uh, talk about what Gary said, but I'm just showing you what Natter said. And he said, I will, basically, I will uh, strike this chat. Um, strike this one or strike this video and so Gary was saying uh he wasn't saying that he was talking too much but um I guess Natter thought that he was telling him that he was talking a lot um but anyways what did I put okay anyways there's really nothing down there it's all these screenshots so but he says I'm not talking too much. I will strike this life stream. That's it. Fight it if you like. Okay? So he meant live stream, but you know. I guess he was like raging. So he said life stream. Okay. Okay, Natter. Um, he says, do what you like. And then Gary explained uh, reasons on why someone can um, strike a live stream. And he didn't care. He was just like, it's not my job to cite. <laughs> I'm going to say this just the way he said it. Uh, it's not my job to the side, the side that lets YouTube think about it and they decide. So they were, he was basically like, it's not my job to decide. Let's let YouTube decide. So, and then, you know, there was other, like Gary explained everything. And then there was like, um, some other people that explained it to him, but he doesn't care. Like he really doesn't care. He did a whole false strike on so many, um, people that it didn't, it didn't matter to him. Like, he just didn't care. And so it does feel like YouTube doesn't care about their YouTubers. Because nothing happened. He did not get demonetized. He's still on YouTube. And he's still with his antics. Like, he flashed his uh, green peen. He turned around and he said, I didn't do that when he really did. And he's trying to manipulate people into thinking that it never happened when it did. There are pictures on Twitter. There are uh, videos going around on Twitter or not. Tw well, on Twitter, but also on YouTube um, that show that he's taking off his underwear on live stream on YouTube. So that's all that's all I'm going to say, but anyways, 
Let me know in your let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the things that I talk about, feel free to subscribe. I talk about um like this kind of drama. I talk about um couponing. I mean, that sort of thing. So, yeah. If you like that, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a nice day.